At Two Point Hospital, over 52% of our patients believe they leave healthier than when they arrived. Hello there and welcome back to this episode, episode 6 in this Two Point Hospital Let's Play. We were in Flottering last time, we just got up to one star. We're uh, going to leave that hospital for now, we'll come back and get, get two or three stars later. And we'll go over, I think we're either going to go to Tumble, which looks like a lot of people are going to hurt themselves. Um, and otherwise Mitten. I think we'll start with Mitten, because Mitten you can get some new technology, you can research and you can train people. So off we go. So... Mitten University. The Vice Chancellor of Mitten University has been impressed with our progress and we've been invited to establish Mitten University Research and Teaching Hospital. This is a great opportunity for us. We can set up a research department and develop some new tech. We'll only be able to recruit student doctors and nurses here, so we'll need to train them up. Mitten University will provide us with extra funds for each person we train and each pro research project we complete. Firstly though, we'll need a research license. The Ministry will grant us one if we can demonstrate our technical prowess by establishing a hospital with some upgraded machinery. Okay, so it looks like, oh, they're going to introduce radiators this time because this part of the county is quite cold, okay. So, we need to get the hospital to level 3 and upgrade a machine. Quite a lot of areas there which we can upgrade to. It doesn't look like you have to wait for them to be built either, you just kind of tack them onto the side of the hospital. Um, but we'll just get in straight away, get some, uh, get reception in. Um, yeah, let's get reception right in the middle here, so everyone can go straight away and check in. Um, oh, you can now get a reception area. Okay, right. That's changed my mind. I'll get rid of that. And then a room. Let's get a reception room. Oh, that's lovely. All the way along there? Yeah, why not? Take out this bit on the end here so it's in the middle. Oh no, that was in the middle already. <coughs> oh! Excuse me, I had to turn off the uh, sound there to... Uh, sneeze quickly <laughs> so we'll get some bins in we'll get I don't know they've got a little drinking fountain in their uh, office area let's put two reception pods we'll mirror it up um, and they can have a big bin over here as well and another filing cabinet oh no that's not going to fit okay um, do they need another drinking fountain yeah, I suppose why not Keep the prestige up, keep them happy with some sweets. Um, and then, as always, let's get a few plants in here to uh, make it nice and pretty. So we've got already up to level three, so that will do for now. That's just a reception area after all, we can't be wasting all day over that. So we've got our first patient, so let's hire a, an assistant to get in there. And let's get GP's office very quickly. Um, so should we get... Maybe we should make it a little bit bigger than that. So we'll make it that size and we'll throw in a door and a bunch of windows just so they can get going. Nice desk. Oh, there we go. There we go. Always need the three filing cabinets and a nice weighing scales in there as well. Um, big bin in the corner and a nice fire extinguisher as well. Mm, it's a bit bare this room, so what we'll do is we'll get some bookcases in the corner there and a couple plants right next to it. There we go. I can't fit. Oh, I can fit that one in there. Lovely. And a nice rug in the middle. A um, couple lightheadedness posters. <laughs> and a clown poster. And a clock. You always need a clock, do you? And there we go. Lovely. Uh, everyone's waiting. Maybe I should turn the speed down. Let's go back to slow speed. Um, and then get a nice chair. 
hair in the corner there. Is that enough? I think that's probably enough. Let's not go over the top with our first room. And what you can do, I found out. Oh no, I don't want to pick that up. If you just pick, click on the room, you can copy the room. So I can put two GPs, GPs offices in, just like that. So that's good. So let's get uh, higher you, higher you as well. Um, and then we'll get pharmacy in to complement that. Um, door just across from each other. Nice little m drug mixing machine. Filing cabinet in there. Um, you can never have too many filing cabinets in this place. Couple big bins. What would be really nice is if someone invents a, uh, creates a mod where you can just um, have like a template of a room which you kind of always use and you just shift everything around um, instead of having to do it all manually each time because it's a bit of a faff to put in all these plants and bins and but you do need them to get the quality of your hospital up because you need the prestige of the rooms um, so that's now prestige level three so that will do us for now that's nice so what we'll do is we'll hire a nurse to work in there um, and I'll we'll probably hire another nurse um, you're pretty much the same dirty habits inspiring a bad whistler inspiring in a hermit okay well best of a bad bunch I suppose um, right and then can I fit in a oh I can fit in a general diagnosis here lovely so I'm trying to make my rooms a little bit bigger, even if they're not very um, pretty, pretty layout. Um, we'll get a few windows in there. I think the windows do boost that that prestige quite quickly, so that's always a good thing. Um, you do wonder why they can't just use the GP's office for this stuff. There's hardly anything extra in here, but. You know, hospitals be hospitals. Okay, and a couple plants in there to just kind of brighten it all up. Um, everyone likes a clock, so we'll get a clock in there. And we'll just get a chair in the corner because I like these chairs. Um, okay, lovely. And there we go. So we've got two GP's office, two general diagnosis, no, two GP's office, a general diagnosis, and a pharmacy. So let's get a cardiology. Is that the same size? I have a feeling it might be a bit bigger. No, you can fit that same size. That's nice. So get the, what they call it, the heart racer, which is just a treadmill, but I suppose both is accurate. Okay. And get the exercise frame in here, which is quite cool because that's like a specific item for this room. Um, and they've got like uh, weights and things like that. Look at that. That's cool, isn't it? And then, so we'll get a bunch of plants again. And we're already up to level three. So I've got a little bit of kudosh, but hardly that much. So I don't really want to be spending it on all these new things down here. So there we go. So I've done all that. So I've got the reception GPs, pharmacy, general diagnosis, cardiology. I do need a ward. I wonder how easily I can fit a ward in. That's not an ideal location, is it? Maybe what I'll do is I'll yeah, let's get rid of that. Let's chuck this in over here, actually. Yeah, that'll fit there quite nicely. We get a nice door in. Oh, that doesn't want to go in. Okay. Um, how many beds am I going to be able to fit in here? Let's put them right next to each other. And a gap. Yeah, I've not done that very well, have I? So maybe I'll just spread them evenly. Yeah, that's, that looks a bit better. We'll get the nurse's station in. I normally put it behind the door, but the layout here doesn't seem to be allowing for that. So we'll leave that over there. Changing screen in the corner. 
And can I fit lockers in? Oh, I just can't, can I? I probably can fit, yeah, I can fit one in there. I can fit one in there. Um, they can have a weighing scales because we don't want those beds to break for my overweighty people. Um, there we go. Always good to have the hand sanitizer to keep clean. And a couple plants in the middle there. That'd be nice, lovely. So I've got to upgrade a machine to get my research license. So, oh, looks like I can't upgrade any machines. Maybe I don't have the right. I don't have the right janitors. So, hire you. Um, probably need more than the one janitor anyway. And then also, let's get another assistant um, and another nurse because I've got that ward. And yeah, it's not great. Okay. So now, what do we need? We need. I could do a psychiatry room, that fits in there, so we'll get a door in there, armchair and a psychiatric couch, have I got, can I put the rug in here, oh I can, lovely, so I can fit that under there, they can look at clowns while they're debating their life, um, and then we can get a nice chair. I don't, I don't think I've ever seen anyone actually use these chairs, but they look quite nice, I suppose. I need to get some radiators, don't I? Uh, let's get a changing screen, that's quite nice. Um, let's just use it as a kind of doorway there. Um, and a lamp, why not? Let's go with that um, Oh, that's nice. One there, and one there. Is that going to do us? Oh yeah, we haven't got any plants in here. Well, would you believe it? A nice tree wall of plants. Through my last night. And finally, well, get a couple of windows in there because and the place it's a bit, look probably a bit dark without the windows. Nice Prestige level spray. four, lovely. Okay, let's go. Excellent. So I'm looking quite good actually. There's quite a lot of uh, people there. Um, Upgrade the drug mixer, although it's going to put it out of commission for a while. What queue have I got? I haven't got any queue. Okay, that's good. So, what else do I need? So, what's happened? Temperature. Okay, some parts of the country are quite cold or too hot. We'll need to keep people comfortable by ensuring they're warm enough. Right, that's fine, but also not too warm. If people are too cold or too hot, they can become unhappy and may eventually leave. Okay. Um, new illness, bog warts. Rather disgusting skin condition, carefully prepared in the pharmacy. Ah, okay, good. And then cure four patients with misery guts. So you treat them in the pharmacy. There's one in the hospital. There we go. Okay, so that's looking good. Everyone's a bit cold, so what I'll do is I get some... I probably need to get some seats as well somewhere. Probably need a seating area because of the um, interesting layout I've gone with my... So we'll get a radiator in there. Is that going to sort out that whole area yet? Um, can I fit one in here, which is going to... Yeah, that's good. Um, that's good, actually. Um, okay, that will keep us nice and warm. Okay, that should do the job for now. Let's just plop some in here. That looks relatively good. Um, and in terms of other items, I think we need to get some benches around the place somewhere. So I probably was a bit foolish to put in this huge reception area. Um, because now I haven't really got any space for any waiting area, but well, it looks as if we can fit all these in here, but I'm not sure, can people still get past? Oh, okay, they can, that's good. So that's probably enough you know, it's enough benches to probably get us going. Um, oh, I thought that was a staff challenge. I didn't realise it was an actual emergency that I just signed up for. Okay, so that's fine. So I need to upgrade a machine. Who's coming along? Oh no, that's, yeah, that's a bad idea. Because I now don't have a pharmacy. Can I rotate you? I can, lovely. Okay. Why aren't you ready yet? 
what have I not put in? Ah. Oh. The door's in the wrong place. Why can't I fit the door in there? Come on, door. There we go. Reports released today claims that okay, there we go. Has the best medical coverage in the country. And so does say he can't vote for what goes You come over here. Lovely. They're sure those are top and then too. You guys got to go over there. Where are you off to? Yeah, you're going over there. Lovely. I haven't got enough. Hmm. Maybe I need another nurse. Okay. Why don't you just go over there quickly? Alright, so let's put it back up to normal speed. So I need to do 22 in. I need to do four. Oh, I have one patient in there now. Is that my emergency patient? I hope so. Uh, research license. Great! So I've got a research license because I've upgraded a machine. Um, are you now going to actually treat these emergency people? Because I'm a bit worried about them now. There's one there. There's two there. Um, I haven't cured any of them. I do have a bit more time, so that's fine. So, I need to train a doctor in research, complete chromotherapy research, and cure a patient in chromotherapy. So, the hospital's looking in a relatively good condition. What haven't I got? So, I do need a staff room. And I need toilets, so maybe I'll just reserve this area down here for those two things. Um, let's put that in there. Nice couple of windows. That's a big, nice big staff room actually. They should be very happy with that. Um, let's get a couple sofas in there. I like that sofas are like a, a required item in the staff room. Um, I suppose they need something to sit on, but just a bizarre way to do it. There we go, some nice armchairs. Uh, there we are, an exercise frame. Well, I don't normally like to exercise on my breaks, but you know, these guys, they may want to, so let's give them a drink, drinks machine, snacks machine, and can we fit a nice bin in the corner there? I'm sure we must be able to, yeah, we can. Fire extinguisher by the door. And they always need to clean their hands with the hand sanitizers. Um, will they be thirsty? Yeah. Let's give them a drinks fountain. And they might want something to read, I suppose. Uh, okay. And a big rug in the middle. That's quite a nice little room, that. A couple of posters on the wall. And there we go. Uh, yeah, okay, fine. I do want a radiator in there. But for some reason, it didn't want to let me use that radiator. It's a bit silly the radiators are so far down in the list because that's one of the things you kind of need quite often, to be honest. But there we go. Uh, rooms. So we need now toilets in here. So let's get a toilets in there. Um, probably don't need any windows in the bathroom, let's be honest. Um, okay. A whole row down there. Couple sinks, hand dryer, and if you're really, really desperate, you can use a hand sanitizer on the way out as well. So there we go, lovely. It's a nice little room now. Um, it's always useful to have posters on the walls, even if they are hidden by uh, everything else going on. Okay, clock. Oh, I just, I'm not going to get that up to level 4, am I? That's a bit of a shame. Even with a whole bunch of plants in the middle. No, it's just not going to get there. Okay, that's alright. That'll do the trick. Okay, now I need to get onto my one store star hospital requirements. So let's get a training centre. Oh, I need to buy this, so just have enough money. Training room, okay, yeah, I'll get a training room. 
So I killed two out of the four with misery guts. That's a bit embarrassing. Um, that's because I was still fixing machine. Okay, so three people want training. We'll get onto that. Um, we'll get onto that just briefly. Uh, you just died. That's not great news, is it? Uh, another janitor to kind of sort us out. Um, and another doctor. Oh, you, these doctors are dreadful. Don't have a psychiatric doctor at all. Um, are all the doctors going to the staff room? No, they're not. Okay. So I've got this area over here, which is nice. So we can get a training center. Uh, how big do these need to be? We can have quite small training rooms. Maybe I, should, maybe I should make it a little bit bigger than that. Yeah. Okay. That'll do the trick. Um, and just one window on there. No, let, let's give them a couple more windows. Get that prestige up. Um, not quite sure why the windows get the prestige up. I suppose it means that people have actually got some natural light, which is always a nice thing. Um, okay. And a lot of these things. You see, the thing is, there doesn't seem to be a way to get the prestige up any higher without throwing in a ridiculous number of items. Like, surely some of these items, you know, like a bronze star award, let's get one of them. Is that worth more prestige than something else? Like, can we get a certificate, throw one of them in there? Is that gonna take us right up? So we're at level four now anyway, so let's get a couple chairs in the back row. Um, there we go, a little breakout area. Lovely. So, who are we going to train? So, we probably... What do people want? So, intern, janitor, student nurse to junior nurse. Okay. Alright, well I want to train a doctor in research, don't I? So let's train doctor. I have to bring a guest trainer in. Um, and let's get two of you training, why not? Um, which does mean I probably need to hire another doctor. Let's get a cheap one for now. Lovely. I haven't got anyone in psychiatry um, with, with that psychiatry skill, so... And it's saying that I'm needing to put someone in there, so that's a bit of an issue, but we'll see. So right next to that, let's get a research centre. Get a door in. There's a bunch of windows. Make it the research centre of the century. So get a research desk. Why can't I fit you in there? There you go. Um, and a research pod as well. Um, I don't know how many. Presumably I need one research pod or research desk per person. I guess. So let's get another one, two of them. Um, and a couple of big bins. I wonder what happens if you put multiple GP's desks in the GP's office. Do, can you have more than one GP working in there at a time? That'd be a bit weird, wouldn't it? Um, and maybe I'll try that one out later. I always need some sweets. They're not allowed to leave this room. They're doing research. Got to keep it all top secret. Um, let's get another plant and just there. Okay, lovely. Um, oh, we're already at level four. Ah, and I can't afford the room. That's a bit of an issue. So, am I able to take out a loan? Hmm, do you want to stop editing this room? No. Ah, I'm losing money very quickly. So maybe I need to rethink my strategy somewhat. Um, how do I reduce the cost of this room? This isn't really taking the prices down much, is it? I presume I need a researcher's desk and a researcher's pod. Um, so if I take that out... No, it's not ready yet. So I do need a researcher's desk. Just haven't got enough money. If I take out everything? still too expensive. Oh god. That 
That's embarrassing, isn't it? Okay, what if I reduce the size of the room? Is that gonna work? No, okay, I just need a little bit more money. Come on. Uh, who's, uh, who's about to be cured? Have I got anyone? I got a couple janitors. Oh, I got 40 grand. Buy it. Excellent. So it's a pretty terrible research room. The one I had looked a hell of a lot better, but there we go. Have we got a doctor for research? Do we know anything about you? Do you know research? Uh, designer, let's do chromotherapy. Start project. No. Uh, I can't do it because I haven't got enough money. Well, that's a bit embarrassing. Well, okay, well, why don't you get out here then? Maybe we should take out a loan. That's probably a good idea. There we go. Okay, so you plop yourself in there. We'll do chromotherapy to cure gray anatomy. I like the little joke they've done there. Oh, and apparently she, he's better at it. Okay, that's fine. Um, how about we train a student nurse to be a, a better nurse? So let's get a ward management because we haven't got anyone who knows that and let's start that. So that's fine. So we don't have all that much money. Maybe I should take that out and repay that one. Okay, there we go. Uh, health minister visited, uh, gave us some reputation and some kudosh. Okay, but let's just say not now because I haven't got any ability to train them. So what's going on here? So I've got lots of people waiting, and I haven't got all the all the ability to cure people. So what I'll do is. So what we're gonna do? Let's have a look. So what have we got? So we've got, let's take the speed down to normal. And we've got three people in that queue, three people in that queue. So it's not too bad. Um, where's everyone queuing them? What are these people waiting for? GP's office, psychiatry. Ah, but we haven't got a psychiatric doctor. So is there one available? No. So really, I need to just train, train a psychiatrist. Um, and that's probably what the big queue is for. Yeah, so I've got five people waiting for the queue. So what we're going to do then is we're going to leave that here for now. We've got our health minister. He's walking around. Um, he looks a bit smarter than the guy in the, in the yellow uh, uh, builder's cap. Um, but he's having a look around. He's given us the thumbs up, so that's always good. He's enjoying that people are training. This guy's happy. He hasn't isn't taking any notes. I don't know how he's going to learn anything. But there we go. So we'll leave it there for now, and we'll pick up next time, and we'll try and get this hospital up to one star. I mean, we may even make it up to two stars. Doing quite well. Got a good layout. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.